Susan here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have my Traxxas Summit 110 Summit on the bench right now and I am replacing the servos. Um, I've noticed the past few times I've taken this baby out it's getting a little hard to steer. I think the servos are giving up the, go giving up the ghost or something. Um, these are the stock Traxxas servos. Um, they're 9 kilogram servo and I am going to be replacing them with our new favorite <laughs> uh, 25 kilogram uh, Metal Gear servos by SPT. Um, that is going to make steering this beast a lot easier with two of them at 25 kilogram like seriously guys this is um it's it 20 bucks a servo pretty much um from china of course um but they are our new favorite they've they've uh proven themselves over and over again and um they are as i said metal gear so um that's what they look like Ta -da. Um, I have not replaced my servos on my summit at all yet, so this is a, an experiment in uh, how how well I can figure this out. Um, I do know I had to um, pull the motor out of the way in order to get the wires cleared. You pull that out, and I'll just. Just drop it off the side there. No pressure on the wires. Uh, but the wires snake from the servos towards the uh, receiver box here. So I have to figure out which wires belong to each servo and unplug them and then re route them obviously and plug them back in. Um, I have been underneath. I uh, centered the servos, etc. Power on and everything. Took a pretty picture. See exactly where the servo horns sit. And I've taken the screws out of those. Underneath. Now I have also um, pulled the screws on the top here. So the servos are loose. Well this one is. This one's still anchored down. Um, this one's loose. I started here and I thought, ah, I should make a video of this. <laughs> you guys know I do my own wrench uh, time on, the, on my RC. So um, I thought I would make a video and just uh, show you how I'm doing it. And for the sake of the length of the video, I'm just going to do the one. And then obviously the other one is the same. Um, kind of theory here. So um, I have some cable ties that I have to cut. Um, just trying to think of the best way to do that without nicking the wires at all. Um, maybe do it from this way. Let's see. Grab the cable tie with a pair of pliers and use this facing up so I don't cut into wires but I cut away from them. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is nerve wracking. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can nip them this way then. There we go, just like that. Okay, that's one. Got another one over here. One is a lot easier to access than the other. There we go, there's one cut free. The other one. Hopefully you can see it well enough. It is like I said a very difficult 
location to I may end up getting a new motor anyway. Um, the motor that's in this is the one that was smoking at the last parade of lights we were in, I guess two years ago now. Um, trying to haul a big trailer with my poor Summit and it smoked. Now the motor is still working. But I think that smoking episode severely weakened it. <laughs> so it's probably due for a new one. I'll just see what I want to do there. Okay. That's my phone texting. <laughs> they can wait. Good grief. There we go. Next one. Undone. Oh, there's another one. Wow! I have not changed these servos. So this is all factory harnessing, I believe. Yeah. And it is very uh, tightly controlled, which would stand reason for a factory because they're putting it together there's nothing else in the way right <laughs> okay I got one more to snip There we go. There's another one snipped. All right, so this this oh, good grief. <sighs> okay. I'll be right back. Got to sort something out. Okay, and I'm back. Um, I have released the servo horn on the bottom of this. I have released the four screws holding it down. Okay. I have cut uh, the uh, ties off of the cabling that were from factory because nobody's disturbed this yet. Um, so when you pull the servo, you can follow the lead of where it is to see which wire it is and then you follow that through the small box of the receiver and um, you can see that this one actually runs to the first channel here here's the wires there and if you un pack all these wires you got to pull them out so you can see what you're doing and that leads to this plug right here so we pull that out and work it back through to get it out of the way and out of the box being careful not to mess up the uh, waterproof seal on the receiver box if we can at all help it. And there we go. And feed that through. And down in and through. Come on, come on. And lift that a little bit. And give it some leeway. And there we go. Servo is out. Okay. Now we'll put the new one in in its place. 
That's the 25 kilogram. Now this one is going to be fine for routing it through. Um, for lengthwise, we simply route it back through with the same wiring through the little slot and trap it in that little area there and through and in and like so I know my fingers are in the way but I can't help it right this second uh, in through and under come on come on assistance to get it to go through that little slot and into the box properly. Come on. In you go. In you go. You pick it up through here. There we go. And wrote it back through. Now this one is going to have lots of cable to reach the box. But this servo over here is a little bit farther away and it's going to require a servo extension, uh, which can be gotten, not a big problem. Um, and that wiring routes here in front of, ahead of the, uh, around the front of the transmission and uh, applied much the same way, just the routing is different. But anyway, I hope that helped. <laughs> It was an experience and a half for me, um, but you simply plug that back in where it is, um, following the color code for the servo you have to make sure it's proper, and plug it back into the channel it was in, and uh, put everything back together. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and oh, there's a servo extension, thank you honey, um, for my other one. So. Um, that's all it is. Just that. Just clip it in together and it just extends the wiring. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.